That's the last rubber band I had. Oh! What is up guys, Rogue TCG? I'm here to bring you another deck profile. This deck is going to be Sky Striker DPE. Uh, this was a deck a little while ago, if you don't remember, before uh, Fusion Destiny got limited and Verte got banned. But after Verte got banned, that was before Fusion Destiny got limited, then this deck came around where you don't need Verte. If you just get to Fusion Destiny somewhere along the line, you can just end with the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. So I'm going to go to my card by card, and I'm going to let you know my thoughts on each individual card at the breakdown of the deck and how I think it's going to perform, because I'm planning on building this in paper and bring this to locals in one of these future weeks, maybe even showing you an in-person deck profile and a VOD. But let me get you guys started. Here we have Triple Nibiru. It's going to be really good against Unchained. Uh, we have our Destiny Hero Dasher and our Destiny Hero Celestial, the old two that people um, used to run for Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. This lets you just avoid um, like normal summoning a card if you draw it, Dasher. You can even summon Nibiru if you really want. And the Celestial is some extra draws if you don't. Uh, then we have three Sky Striker Ace Ray. Um, when it's uh, on the field, you can quick effect tribute the special Sky Striker from your extra deck to the extra monster zone. And while it's in the grave, if a Sky Striker link is removed due to an opponent's card effect, you can special it from your grave. Um, the best Sky Striker monster, but here we have Rose. If the Sky Striker Ace monsters are more special, you get a special it except during the damage step. And then if opponent's monster leaves the extra monster zone, um, and opponent's monster in the extra monster zone is destroyed by a battle or leaves because of your card effect, you can special it from your grave and they get the effects of a face-up monster they control. Uh, really good for removing stuff during the battle phase, functionally removing it by negating its effects, and then you can get rid of it and link it off the Widow Anchor or something. So it's a good two of, you can always dump this off of Hayate. Uh, then we have our hand traps, triple ash blossom, one ghost mortar and moonlit chill in order to get those pesky rescue ace players and our triple effect veiler. It's gonna round out the hand traps and we're gonna have one rota which searches both Rose and Ray. It's a spell card, so we're trying to get as many of those spell cards that just replace themselves. We have Triple Fusion Destiny. It fuses summons a fusion monster from your extra deck. That includes a Destiny Hero monster from its material. But um, during the end phase of the next turn, you can't special summon Dark Heroes and it's destroyed, but De Penis Enforcer gets around that. So very simple. Uh, main reason I built this deck, Engage went to two, which means you can open double Engage now, which is insane. So we're running as many Engage as we can, which is going to be two. We have one terraforming for our area zero, which helps us find Ray. And if we have Ray, is insane. Uh, we have two afterburners. Um, it's, um, this is typically a dead card when you're going first, so we're only running two. We do have the third in the side deck, though. We have two linkage. This lets us OTK and can put up some bodies on the de defense. We have our one called by the grave, just a good hand trap um, preventative measure. Good for just stopping some basic combo decks, too. And it's a spell card, so I'll let you look at that. We have Double Shark Cannon, stops graveyard decks, banishes stuff from the grave like they're trying to recur, and you can take them. Um, Hornet Drones, it's a body, it's at one for a reason, it's a free link too. We have Triple Widow Anchor, the best of the quick play spells, Negate and Steal if you have three or more. Very, very powerful. Uh, we have two multi roll, this is at three, but we are running two. Tempted to even cut this card to one just because it is recursion and it is um, giving your spells, uh, spells spell speed four, but it is a very bricky card if you draw it and you don't draw enough Sky Striker stuff. And then triple area zero, considering working on the ratios a little bit on this, I need to see how it plays a little bit more first before I tweak it though. Then for the extra deck, we have our destroy Phoenix Enforcer. It uses a level six or higher Destiny Hero, which Dasher is a level six, and a level uh, and any Destiny Hero, which is going to be Celestial because it's the best one in Grave. Um, monsters, your opponents lose uh, control, lose two hundred attack. That means you're losing four hundred. Um, and once per turn, quick effect, you can destroy both one card you control and one card they control. And if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon a Destiny Hero monster from your grave. So even if they get rid of this with Militia, uh, no Militia, I mean. With called by, bestials, droll, crow, etc., etc., 
you can still bring back Celestial and Dasher to go into one of the future cards that I'm going to mention. Then we have one access code talker. This is going to be all the way you are trying to kill them. On uh, this next line, um, your opponents can't activate res effects in response to this card's effects activations. Link summon target a link one or low uh, higher that's used for this link summon. Its attack become uh, it gains attack equal to the link rating times a thousand, and then you can banish a link from your field or grave, destroy a card with a different attribute. This deck is really good at doing that because you have waters, fires, winds, um, earths, darks, lights, like you have all of them, you have all the attributes, so you can potentially pop their entire board. We have a Selene, Queen of the Master Magician. Um, two plus monsters, including a spellcaster monster. If this card has link summon, place spell counters on this card equal to the number of spells on the field and in the grave. While an endymion card is on the field, and your opponents can't target this card for attacks so once per turn during the battle main phase. Quick effect, remove three spell counters from your field. Special summon a spellcaster monster from your hand or grave a defense position to a zone this card points to. You used to run this card with Hawk of Fibrax because you could normal summon an effect veiler or take a opponent's tuner with a uh, widow anchor. To make Calc, then make Selene, then make Access Code by bringing back um, a tuner from your grave, like an Ash, an, uh, not an Ash, it has to be Valor specifically. Um, but in this deck, you can also run Dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy. Um, two monsters, including a Dark monster. Ray is a Dark. Uh, Rose is not a Dark, but Zeke is a Dark. Azalea is a Dark. So you have a bit of access to darks, especially the extra deck to make it. Uh, if you do open the Celestial, you can also make it with this if you don't have the Fusion Destiny. Uh, same with Dasher if you do want to Tribute Summon it. Um, and when it's Link Summoned, uh, not when it's Link Summoned, on an Ignition Effect, you can target a dark on your opponent's grave, Special Summon to a zone it points to. And if it's destroyed by battle, you can um, add a dark from your deck to your hand, which actually could come up because it can search Ray. But uh, typically, you're not really going to be getting that. But the main combo is they have a dark in their grave. You make Gloomy, you take the dark, you link it to Selene because Gloomy is a spellcaster. Selene can um, bring back an effect failure in your graveyard if you've used one previously in the turn to then make access code talker. Um, but that does require that you have used an effect failure, so it is a little iffy. So I'm very tempted to work around that engine a little bit because. You could also put a Nightmare Unicorn in here as well to go with the Dark, the Dark uh, Charmer, Gloomy, and just keep the access code. So the Selene is a little bit variable. We're running one Zeke, two monsters, including a Sky Striker, so you, could, you can use your opponent's monsters for this. It must be Link Summoned. You can only Special Summon it once per turn. If it's Link Summoned, target a face at monster on your opponent's field, banish it into your opponent's next end phase. So it's a little bit of a better Farfa. And uh, once per turn, you can target one other card you control. This gains a thousand attack, then send the targeted card to the graveyard. Um, you could do that to array on your board and then tag out the ray in order to get the bonus without having to do it because it says then send the targeted monster to the graveyard. Um, then we are having the ace azalea, must be a link summon, you can only special summon it once per turn. If this card specials, target a card of the field, destroy it, then you get three or less spells in your grave, send it to the grave. Once per turn at the start of the damage step, if it battles an opponent's monster, you can banish one spell from your grave and destroy your opponent's monster. A very strong card always wins in battle and you're only gonna be you're only really gonna be summoning it once you have three or more spells in your grave like the end gauge moment in order to just pop a card with no repercussions however in a tight situation you could just you know destroy it and destroy itself um and it does seem like you can just special summon it uh no it says must be link summoned so you can't actually cheat out these two, but you can cheat out the um, all the next ones. We have Hayate. Um, you can link summon it using one non-wind. Um, you can only special summon it once per turn. This card can attack directly after damage count. If it battles, send a Sky Striker uh, card from your deck to the graveyard. So this dumps all the things you want in your graveyard that you want to get back with multi-roll, that you want to just meet the um, requirement for engage, that you want to add back with Kagari, etc, etc. So we're running two Hayate just so we can do it twice because uh, most of the time after we make Hayate and we do the dump, we're just immediately going to link it off. We are running uh, the Kaina, 
Uh, when it's special summon, target a face up monster your opponent controls, it can't attack until the end of its opponent's turn. And each time you activate a Sky Striker spell, you gain a thousand of life immediately after the effect resolves. This is our win condition in time, just by gaining a bit of life and then basically locking the opponent out of the game via our spells and hoping like they can't really play. It also does stop an opponent's monster from attacking until the end of their turn, so it's a good way to special summon Ray after a uh, Link monster was destroyed and then go into Kaina to block the next attacker and to get another body on the board. And then if it's a time situation, you just start playing your spells and you start gaining that life. Uh, we're playing Triple Kagari, of course. If this is special summon, target a Sky Striker spell in your grave, add it to your hand and it gains a thousand, for, uh, not a thousand, a hundred for each spell in your grave and you can only special summon it once per turn. So over the course of two to three turns, we plan on cycling through all of them just to get maximum advantage of our spells and just spells. And then last we have Triple Shizuku. Monsters your opponent's control lose 100 attack and defense for each spell in your grave. Once per turn during the end phase, if it was special summon, you can add a Sky Striker spell from your deck to your hand with a different name from the cards in your grave and you can only special it once per turn. Um, this card is very good because uh, you can do the good old Shizuku Shuffle, which involves you having multi-roll and a Shizuku. Um, you're going to, at end of turn, search. You're going to search something like a Widow Anchor, and then you're immediately going to activate that Widow Anchor, target the Shizuku, and then multi-roll is just going to reset that Widow Anchor at the end of turn. Sure, it will get banished, but it is a way to search something and immediately get access to it for your opponent's turn. Now we're just going into the side deck. We have our my favorite card, Surgical Striker Hamp. So good old Hamp over here is a Kaiju. It is a searchable Kaiju that they gave to Sky Strikers to get over their biggest fear, Thunder Dragon Colossus, about two years after the Colossus has been banned. So um, regardless of the funnies, um, this is a very good card. It basically means after sideboarding, you kind of auto win in the Marincess matchup because their big ass guys can't really beat getting kaiju and it beats just a lot of random decks. It beats um, Attic Nister. It beats um, Dragon Link when they end on Borland because you can just throw Hamp on top of him. It's very simple to do and very easy because it's searchable because it's always considered a Sky Striker card. And uh, once per turn when this card is destroyed by battle, you can target a card your opponent controls and destroy it. Um, I believe you get to activate that. So if you manage to run this over by battle via like just having a really big Kagari or something, or let's say Linkage, um, because the summon monster does gain a thousand attack, you do then get to destroy one of your opponent's monsters uh, or cards, if I'm not mistaken. We do have a uh, third Afterburners in the side for when we're going second. Double Book of Moon, it is a spell card and it's a very good card. It beats Pearly. Also, this card beats Pearly. Um, Mecha Equal Booster to make our card unaffected. Our last shark cannon for when we're against graveyard decks. More graveyard decks. This beats Unchained specifically. Silent Graveyard. Discard a card. Effects that activate in the grave this turn are negated. Unless they're running Dimension Shifter and the Dimension Shifter themselves. Um, Silent Graveyard does turn off all the Unchained effects because they all do all activate in the graveyard. Doesn't mean they have they have to activate in the graveyard, but they do activate in the graveyard. Um Triple evenly matched to just board breakers and triple dimensional barrier for when we know we are going to go first against a deck that does hard lose to it. Um, Sword Soul, Branded, um, those sort of things. Uh, this doesn't really do too much against um, the new SP stuff and we should be playing SP Little Knight, but I do not own that card and I do not anticipate owning that card unless I pull one in the next box opening that we are gonna be doing on the channel in about a week from now. So ready your um, calendars, I guess, because we're going to have one to two box openings going on about a week from now with a new setup. So I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this. And thank you guys so much for tuning in for this entirety of the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. And I'm going to see you guys next time.